So next came out a few months ago and ever since League finished, I've been grinding it consistently for hours every day the last two months. It is pretty much the only endgame boss that I have not gotten most of the drops from that are important. So it's my main priority at the moment. Except you might be wondering, where's the next progress been? It's been like a month and I haven't uploaded any next progress. Well, my dear viewers, we have a problem. I've done over 800 kills since the last drop in a size of 5 people, which is about a 1 in 200 chance for a personal drop. So roughly, I am 4 times dry at the moment. Recently though, Jagex decided to change the overall rate from 1 in 52 to about 1 in 42. Could be off by a number, which helps certainly, but I've actually seen less drops overall since then. Sad. So yeah, I'm currently attempting to break my driest streak in a long time since the Nightmare days. If y'all watched the Nightmare grind, you know what it's like, so it's very similar. Anyways, saddle up though, because we do not give up in this channel. And you will be rewarded though, for sticking around, I promise. So my current drops at next are the Pet, the Torva, Fulhelm, and the Three Ancient Hilts. The Hilt and the Pet are definitely not very important items, but because I've already gotten them first, it means that I have to complete all of next because the only remaining items, Torva play body, the legs, and the range gloves, and the crossbow are all best in slot. So we're gonna be here till it's all done. So now that next mechanics are pretty optimized at this point, the best method I've found for doing next is still a melee range hybrid, as I can dish out a ton of extra DPS without using ammunition. But it's very click intensive though. If you're not good at switching and you don't have a rapier, you're better off going just full range with your best crossbow with the T-bow. Also, my preferred team is definitely size 5 because I only need to use about 1 or 2 brews average a kill. And it lets me get at least 3 kills per trip, sometimes even 4, 5, 6 if the food's good, which lets me not have to KC at all to re enter the room. Fours is my second favorite because it's similar in supply use, but if someone dies, it's a lot harder to get the next kill on the same trip. By far my favorite next drops that isn't unique is definitely the Dragon Bolts because I pretty much ran out of mine. I've used them all at Armadale a long time ago uh, after killing 4,000 forecast, but this boss drops a lot and I can use that at next when I can get the Zara crossbow. Looking forward to it. And also the cannonballs. I used up all my cannonballs at Moss Chance, so it's nice to be able to stock up. It drops a lot of those too. What? Dragon Bolts, oh my god. <laughs> The Dragon Bolts got me, man. How many Dragon Bolts do I have from next? I probably have so many. I have 13k Dragon Bolts yet. That would help so much if I can actually start using them. Alright, let's try Void Range. I want to KC with Void Range. Just because I feel like it might be better to kill the Majors with Void Range. And I really want to be able to, you know, wear my new kitted Void Range too. Oh yeah, Void Range is definitely better for killing the Spiritual Mages. And then Armadillo, just because you hit higher and you don't miss at all. You are just very accurate on the mages. So, yeah, Void wins in this one. You don't use that many. Oh, that sucks, though. Maybe brew up there. 1300 KC. We're at about 700 small teams. God damn. Two brews, just like that. Oh, Lee Kluskro. Holy shit. What? No way, dude. We actually got all oh, my days. Damn. Freaking crossbow. Not gonna lie, I think the crossbow is the item I want the most because it'll help me speed up my next kills and save me some supplies. But it's okay. That's like, what, 100 mil split at the time that I got this drop? So, gotta take it. Um. Anyways, you might have noticed I got MVP on that and a lot of people are wondering, well, what is MVP? You know, how big of a deal is it? Honestly, it's such an insignificant deal. You won't really notice any difference in terms of getting uniques, honestly. Even if you get MVP, most of the drops that I've seen were all my MVPs. So yeah, just to give you an idea, it's not a big deal. What? <laughs> oh my god, no way. <laughs> oh my dude. I can't believe you did that. Oh wow, I can hit a 70 with Amethyst arrows here. Damn, but Void Range feels good, man. 
So I've only died 13 times so far during this video, but if you look at the global kill count and then the global deaths, it's actually shocking. Every three next kills, someone's dead. So that's actually surprisingly insane uh, death <laughs> ratio for the players. Like, Jesus, who is dying? I guess there's just a lot more noobs than I thought, you know? Not trying to brag, but that's actually crazy. Oh shit, someone got Zarya Grand Braces? So this team consisted of two of my friends that were splitting. So I got a nice, uh, I think it was like 60 mil split. I wish I got some drops, man. It's been so... Oh, Ancient Hill! No, wow, this this man just keep getting drops. He just got the play yesterday. Holy shit. Okay, I'm so happy that wasn't going to me. Oh my god, if, if that was my fourth hill... Another day of defeat, boys. 1638. We have cleared over 600 kills dry in a small team since our last drop. So in today's rates, with five bands going, it's uh, three times over the rate for a personal drop. So, oof. But if it's anything like Nightmare, when I did go super dry there, I ended up getting a bit lucky at the end to make up for it. So hopefully, once we start getting drops, it's you know it's gonna be the the. The luck, right? Because all these four drops, they are more common than the hilts and the pet that I've gotten. So, yeah, it could be like a crazy uh, comeback. So, we'll see. So, I'm using Thralls to KC with as well. It's pretty nice. Um, It does reliably do damage throughout the entire KC duration. There's very little downtime. Finally went down to under 10,000. Now, I'm actually under 9,000 even. Oof. Oof, even those little bits of gauntlet is not really keeping keeping it balanced. Really need to get this crossbow, dude. Then I don't have to use so many dragon arrows. Alright, let's see how these free-for-all teams do. I think they typically just go for three kill trips. Sometimes my core team members are just busy doing other stuff, so I can't always have a dedicated team to go with me at times. Once in a while, we do have to recruit some people from the next communities that uh, run free for all small teams so we'll pull some people from a few of those so for those of you guys that are trying to get into small team nexus for the first time there are a few clan chats that you can look into the most common one is the clan chat called osr space next space ffa ignore the spaces of course and that one is kind of like the entry for small teams. And then there's another CC that I used a bit called Players Chat. Uh, the names will be in the video. That one's a bit uh, more experienced players. And then there's one called the Kodai that is like super experienced. You need max range like Zarya Crossbows or you cannot go in that team setup. But those are some options there. You can check those out. What? Someone got Torva? Holy shit. Damn, that's... Okay, there you go. First drop I've seen since uh, the, the drop risk uh, went back to the original. Grats, man. Uh, this is a free-for-all team, though, unfortunately. Because we don't have enough of the usuals around. Oh, damn. One Sunny Mill Strength XP. I would have never noticed. Anything? Wow, what a boring drop. 1700. Alright, that's basically 700 dry. So I just fished 600 and cooked 600 anglers because I need them for next. What? 175 more HP. Oh, wow. Well, it's been over a week now and none of us in the entire team has seen a drop yet. We go over the rate per day the past yeah week and nothing yet. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna get on food now. <gasps> Yo, oh my god. That scared the fuck out of me, bro. I'm so glad it wasn't me. Oh, oh my god. I escaped another ancient hilt yet again. I think my last two draws were ancient hilts. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Finally. Holy shit. Let's go. New item. Oh, that took so long. God damn. Finally. It's happened. Yes. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. I'm so glad that I uh, I, I brought a scuff inventory. Oh my god. It's just, just to make that trip. Woo. 
Ooh, that was great. That was freaking great. Yo, this is awesome, man. New best in slot here too as well. Oh, that's not that's not a bad item to get uh, as the next item. Yes, dude. Freaking sorry. Van braces. That's so good. Direct upgrade, new item. Good stuff, man. Actually, yeah, any item I get at this point is is good here. Actually, but yeah, no, this is nice. This is nice. I've been I've been meaning to try something new, you know, change up my inventory a little bit. Ah. <sighs> Well, so we need uh, the Torva, two pieces, and and the horn. That's what we need now, those three items. My teammate Gozu has like 300 mil of profit from me, so he can just use that money to split the entire team. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap Barrel's Gloves over for, for these because now we have BIS Mage, BIS Range, BIS Melee. And I guess Barrow's Gloves? I don't know, it's just a side item now. This is just fodder next to my Rune Gloves, I guess. There you go. But yeah, that's nice. That is nice. That is fat. 18 range, that's actually insane. Because if you think about it, look, look at the previous best. Which was Barrow's Gloves. Damn, that's insane. Six more... That's 50% more range on, on the gloves compared to Barrel's gloves. Oh my god. That's just a teaser. The real thing here is the range strength. Plus 2. That's that's crazy. That's actual max hits too. So I'm probably going to be getting a, an extra max hit here and there. Barrel's gloves has been BIS range gloves for like over 10 years if you think about it. So yeah, it's about time I guess we, we get a replacement BIS range gloves. And here it is boys. But hey, let's uh, show the log real quick, I guess. Let's have a look. Bam! Finally, look at that. Oof, three items left, baby. Let's go. So I have three Sorrows affiliated items. The Van Braces, the Helmet, and the Sorrows God Sword. So if I use it at the altar here, I restore an extra three because it's one per per item. Alright, I got another 1,000 uh, Red Spider Eggs. I've made... Two freaking thousand after using all of these should be like two thousand restores uh made just for next. Look at this. I've already used five hundred since making the last one thousand restores. So uh yeah, I'm literally I have to actually farm like every single week. No joke. I gotta farm uh every week. It's either brewers I gotta farm or Snapgen's gonna farm. Just doing a few hours of next a day is literally requiring this much. So two thousand restores made. So as part of my prep process, I do have to periodically upkeep my Blood Fury. Um, we did some math here with Twitch chat a while ago, and we're looking at probably 40 to 50 charges a kill, which isn't too bad considering one shard is 10,000 charges. So yeah, it'll last a while, but I've already gone through like quite a few. I think at least four now. But yeah, just gotta come here and AFK once in a while for one. Whoa, I got your answer here. Are you... Oh, it disappeared. Ah, okay, good. There we go. Another blood shard. <laughs> okay, I, I don't really have too many reasons to keep AFK here, but... Uh, then again, runecrafting is all sorted with the runecrafting armor set, so it's too good right now. I'll just stay here for the moment. So every single day when I start my next grind, I have to spend some time to communicate with my friends and see who can show up. And that usually takes a while to get everybody together. So what do I do while I wait? Well, I usually just run a few gauntlets while everyone's getting ready. Uh, reasons being, I need the pet. I've been trying to get it forever. And it's really convenient. I don't have to gear up for it. I can just go. And each game is less than 10 minutes. So super convenient. So you'll be seeing some gauntlet content every now and then between my next grind. Oh, that was finesse. Damn, 2100. 300kc till 3x try. At the pet. Whoa. Got it. Oh, the epic clutch. God damn, such bad RNG. Holy mobs, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> Holy shit. I've never dragged this many mobs into one room without trying. Uh, that was like eight of them or something. Oh, armor seed though. 
It's been a while since I've gotten one of these. Oh, another armor suit. Oh, well, I, I don't usually do the NATO run this way, but it certainly works, so. Definitely do not try that one. It's very scary. Crystal armor suit, nice. Okay. More money, I guess. That is a lot of leak points. 100, actually, let me just claim this trophy. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to check out the new rewards from League, so yeah, let's do it now. Because I have a lot of points to spend. Put it on real quick. <laughs> a good old Vern. Not bad. Alright, so we're gonna buy some items. I'm gonna buy a lot of stuff this time. What is this, variety ornament kit? Is that for the whip? I think I'll buy this one. Oh, I gotta confirm. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna use it on the whip. Apparently, you can use this in a stash unit too, so... So, I'm gonna put this in a stash unit just because uh, I want to save some space. Wait, wait, wait. If I just buy one of these, does that only work for one of them? Oh, oh, wow. It's all, all six items. Sweet. Okay, that means I need to grab my mage hat too, I guess. Because it gave me an extra one. But I can wear the range void first. Whoa, dang. What the hell? That uh, looks pretty sick. Like the colors are much more pronounced, so that's that's pretty cool. Alright, last thing I want to buy is the cannon ornament kit. Alright, dang. I feel like this is definitely one of the most drastic changes though. <laughs> I'm not sure if this necessarily fits the uh the old school theme, but it's a new look, though. Oh, I got a bail, too. 10 seconds. 10 seconds on my altar. Goes if you can tank for 10 seconds, I can come back. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, clutch. Getting the Ancient God Sword early isn't quite bad because I've been finding it super useful at next. It really does help me maintain my kills per trip without having to leave early because sometimes the boss doesn't draw food so instead of using claws i can just use star scots for specs so every spec is 50 percent and it most likely does land if i spec it on the minion and i'm basically guaranteed 25 hp every time so that's one free shark with every spec and a bonus of 5 hp i'm just gonna go for the double heal because i need to get that double heal honestly Feels good, man. I'm not gonna lie, the Zara's Crossword spec is a little funky because I'm pretty sure you do have to land a damage for it to proc the heal and also do the 25% extra damage back to the opponent. But watch this clip. I hit nothing. No XP drop and I still healed. No way. I hit zero. Oh, CBA. Oh, I still hit. I still healed. <laughs> I needed to look at that back. That's cool. Massive tip for you next scorers. Have your team ever been all frozen in the same tile before? There's a really easy way to make sure that never happens again. And it's really simple. As soon as you see the boss say, um, you know, get trapped in my ice prison or you see that animation flying towards you, just make sure you spam click two tiles away because it only can focus on one person. So even if everyone's on the same tile, as long as you are proactively spam clicking two tiles away when you see the animation, only one person will get trapped and then everyone's safe. Oh my god. <laughs> so as you can see, it didn't really target me, so I was able to just dodge it just by spam clicking. Trying to save some prayer. Uh, you can actually turn your range prayer for this phase like right as it hits you. Careful switching to prey mage too early from P2 to P3B because sometimes there might be a rogue range attack flying towards you that you don't notice and you have the wrong prayer. It'll hit you for double the damage. <gasps> no, dude, you just baited the frick out of me, dude. So most of my team setup involves uh, me tanking the first few phases and usually not tanking the fifth phase because I'm melee base, but she does go with the lowest magic defense for the first uh, four phases. But it's really easy to tank the first phase as a mailer if, especially I'm the only one mailing, or if the other mailer's going under the boss every time when she attacks. 
because it's always going to go to me in that case. Uh, every time it switches from one person to another, it'll be me. So it's very easy to just pray melee because most of the time she will melee me. And therefore, I save damage for everybody, including me. Literally just flicking all the boss's attacks, I guess. So on the last phase of next, next goes for the people with the lowest crush defense. Oh wait, it's an armored of Godsword? Frick. Wrong Godsword, damn. No.